मॉर्निंग क्लास टेन मैथमेटिक्स पे चैप्टर थ्री पेयर ऑफ लिनियर इक्वेशन आई हैव बी एक्सप्लेन चैप्टर वन दी एल नंबर एंड आई हैव सेंड द क्वेश्चन डेली आई एम सेंडिंग द प्रैक्टिस क्वेश्चन एंड यू विल डेफिनेटली so and if you have any doubt you can contact me second polynomials yesterday i have sent you question today i have sent the question of this chapter linear pair of pair of linear equations and here students of two variable pair of linear equation of Two variables. So many uh, many equations you must have solved, you must have seen. These are the standard form of two equations. A one x plus b one y plus c one is equal to zero, and a two x plus b two y plus c two is equal to zero. Here. A one, B one, C one, real number, and A one you can see coefficient of x. One indicates this is equation one. Two represent equation two. So one A one coefficient of x, B one coefficient of y, C one coefficient of. Similarly also in the second equation. So these are these are the standard form of pair of linear equation of two variables. Now see uh, how will you solve many methods: method of substitution, method of elimination, graphical method, and uh, cross multiplication method. Cross multiplication method has been completed, so you will concentrate only three: solving by graphical method, solving by substitution, solving by elimination. But <coughs> these are the three points. According to them, this condition, this uh, property, you can find. You can know without solving the the equations given have its solution or not. So this is the first condition. If a one y a two not equal to b one y b two, if so, the equations must have the solution, and therefore they are called unique solution. And if you represent through axes, graphical method, so you will get the lines intersecting because this will be the solution of the given equation like this. So if this condition a one by a two not equal to b one by b two. So a logic interpretation is unique solution, and graphical representation they will represent intersecting lines. Number two, if a one y a two equal to b one y b two, not equal to c one y c. If you find this, you can find very easily by finding the uh, ratio of coefficient of x, coefficient of y. And constant term. So, if this condition, if a one by a two, b one by b two equal and not equal to c one by c two, so there will be no no solution of those type of equations. And if you want to represent on a graph paper, you will you will find the lines will be parallel. Parallel का मतलब समझ में कि they will not intersect and therefore there will be No solution because if the if the lines two patients two lines you will get if these two lines intersect 
then the equation must have solution. Or in other words, you can say you can find the values of x and y. And if the lines are parallel, so it means they are not intersecting and therefore no solution. And if this condition, f1 y a2 equal to f1 y b2 equal to c1 y c2, so many solutions and lines will be coincident. Coincident means if a line lying over other line, so they are called coincident. And therefore, they have many solutions. Many solutions means these two lines are touching at every point, at all points, and therefore the equations must have many solutions. So this condition you should remember, these, these are the algebraic interpretation, unique solution, no solution, and many solutions. And graphical representation or interpretation you can say, intersecting lines, parallel lines, and coincident lines. And one thing more, if the equations have unique solution, I the equations have many solutions. These two are called consistent. And the equations, if the equations have no solution, so they are called inconsistent. So on these two conditions, the equations will be called consistent. And if this condition, so equation will be called inconsistent. So these are the introduction, although I have explained whenever I was uh, explaining this chapter, but I have just reminded you, these are the uh, conditions and I have explained that there are four methods to solve a pair of linear equation. And one method, cross multiplication has been deleted. These methods are cross multiplication method. It has been deleted. So you have to, you have to learn the graphical method, elimination, and substitution. So you will, I, you, uh, I will send the question to the worker and you will try to solve. So this thread. Now you can see, uh, I will solve some question and then you will see. Three x minus five y is equal to support. minus 9 and 2x plus 3 by thirteen. suppose. So you change into a standard form, so this will be left side, so this will be plus, which is equal to 0. And you see the, also this will be minus, so you can do 0. Now you see these are in the form of these two. A1x plus B1y plus C1 is equal to 0. And A2x. So here A1, A1 is 3, B1 is minus 5, C1 is 9. You have to see if the constant on the right you can you should transfer from right to left, and this is A2, 2, B2, 3, and C2, minus 5, minus sign, very important, important in the sense the general mistakes are done in this sign of minus, therefore, so these are the conditions. Now if I ask you whether these equations have unique solution or many solution, 
or no solution without solving. So you can find a1 by a2, 3 by 2, b1 by b2, minus 5 by 3, and c1 by c2, 9 by 3. So it is very clear from this uh, observation, this is not equal to this. This means a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2. That means the equations have unique solution. This means we can find the values of x and y. And uh, if I ask you, if you represent through the graph, so what, what kind of lines you will get? Intersecting lines. Because on this uh, condition, the lines will be intersected. So it will be whether the equations have solution or not. So now you have to solve. So you can solve by any one method, either on the graph, or by elimination, or by substitution. But now, suppose you have to solve by elimination. Elimination word is formed from the word eliminate. Eliminate means to finish, to end up that term. So eliminate, eliminate the negative, okay? So first of all, we, need, we have to make the coefficient of x or y equal. If the coefficients are equal in the given equation, so you have to simply add or subtract. And if the coefficient of x or y is not equal, first step you have to make the coefficient equal. So coefficient of x, 3 and 2, not equal, and coefficient of y, minus y and 3. So if you want to make the coefficient of x equal, so this is the method you multiply by 2 and you multiply this equation by 3. So by interchanging the coefficient, what is the coefficient you multiply? So you multiply by 2, so that will be 6x minus 10y plus 18 is equal to 0. And you are multiplying by 3, so this will be 6x plus 9y minus 39 is equal to 0. Now we have made the coefficient of x equal. You can also make the coefficient of y equal. If you want to make the coefficient of y equal, you multiply by 3, equation 1. You multiply uh, equation 2 by minus 5, so this to be equal, so you have options. Now, if the signs are same, so you have to subtract to eliminate. Here you see both are positive, so on subtracting, on subtracting sign are changed, so that will be cancel, minus minus plus, sign will be minus, minus 19 y and plus plus plus. So, minus 57. So, this is the coefficient of x or y is the coefficient of x or y not equal. First of all, you make the coefficient of x or y equal. By multiplying, I have told you, and my 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 multiplying the coefficient of x to that equation. So you can find the value of 57 upon 19. Sign is minus. Or ye do value aiga suppose whatever the value, you will put the value of this in equation one. <coughs> you have already solved the question and I have just reminded you how can you solve by elimination and how can you solve by substitution. Suppose x plus y is equal to 7 and 2x minus 3y, suppose 1. 5 plus 2, 10 minus 6, 4. Suppose 
these two are in patients. So first of all, you find whether the patients have unit solution or not, and then you have to you have to solve by method of substitution. Substitution word is made up of from the word substitute. Substitute. You find the value of x in terms of y, or you find the value of y in terms of x. You put that value in other equation. So the other equation of two variables that will be changed into one variable. You will find the value of that variable, and on putting the this value of in any equation, you will get the value of other variable. So method of substitution. Can we get from one actual equal to how much? Seven minus y. Suppose we give equation three. You put this value in equation second. Two in place of x, seven minus y. And this will be minus three y is equal to four. You simplify fourteen minus two y minus minus three y is equal to four. This fourteen will be this side. This will be simplified minus five y. Four minus four minus fourteen minus ten. Both will be positive. Y is equal to ten by five. Two. Now it would be value in equation one or two or three. So better you uh, easier in putting the value putting the value of y in equation five. So x is equal to seven minus two. Y is equal to two. Seven minus two is equal to five. So this means one of the values of x, x is equal to five, y is equal to two. These are the methods of substitution. Now, if you want to verify whether you are right or wrong, so you should put these values. You put these values, whatever the values you have obtained, you in the so five plus two seven. This is correct. And now you put these values in equation second. So two into five ten minus three into two six ten minus six four. So satisfaction satisfied. Verify and so your answer is okay. So this is a uh, an uh, for trace. So linear pair of pair of linear equation of two variables. You should know the uh, process of. And next time I will explain you that problem and also by graphical method. So that's all for today. Thank you and have a nice day. Thanks.